For centuries, humans have dreamt of controlling the weather, droughts can devastate agriculture and livelihoods, so, the idea of making rain seems like magic, but is it? Natural rain forms when water vapor condenses around tiny particles in clouds called condensation nuclei. These can be dust, salt, or even pollution. Artificial rain, also known as cloud seeding, mimics this process. We typically use airplanes to spray special substances like silver iodide into clouds. These act as ice nuclei, attracting water vapor and forming larger ice crystals. When these crystals become too heavy, they collide and melt, falling as rain. Here's a myth buster. We don't use table salt or acid for cloud seeding. Silver iodide is a specific compound chosen for its properties. It has a crystal structure similar to ice, making it an effective ice nucleus. The concept of cloud seeding dates back to the 1930s. Early attempts were mixed, but research has continued. Today, cloud seeding is used in many countries to increase rainfall during droughts or prevent hail damage. While promising, cloud seeding isn't a guaranteed rainmaker. It works best under specific atmospheric conditions. Scientists are actively researching ways to improve its effectiveness and predict results more accurately. Studies suggest cloud seeding can increase rainfall by 10% to 20%. However, the success rate varies depending on cloud type and weather patterns. It's a complex science and results can be inconsistent. Cloud seeding raises ethical questions. What if one region benefits by taking rain from another? International cooperation and responsible use are crucial for managing water resources fairly. Here's where things get interesting. Some scientists worry about the long-term effects of large-scale cloud seeding. Could it disrupt natural weather patterns and seasonal cycles? More research is needed to understand these potential consequences. Cloud seeding is a developing technology with immense potential. As research progresses, it could become a valuable tool for managing water resources and mitigating droughts. While making rain isn't quite magic, cloud seeding is a fascinating example of science manipulating weather. It's a powerful tool, but one we need to use responsibly. What are your thoughts on artificial rain? Share your ideas in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on this exploration of artificial rain. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more science adventures.